Hello friends, welcome to another JavaScript lesson. So, uh, previously we have been talking about objects and methods, strings and methods, arrays and methods. And uh, before that we had a general overview of the language. And uh, we are going to be going further. I hope the journey is exciting. You know, you need to actually put into practice what we are doing here. So that you don't, uh, it doesn't become... A theory that you are just like studying in school no you need to actually practice and do more research to get further knowledge on these things depending on where you want to apply them so today we are going to be talking about JavaScript callbacks and basically callbacks are just functions that are called in other functions do you get the point JavaScript callbacks or callback functions they are functions or we can we can put it this way they are functions that are set as arguments to other functions for example uh let's take a real life scenario where you are maybe you're you're, you're discussing with someone discussing with someone that's an action right maybe there's a function let's just say yeah you are discussing with someone and then you're like okay you can go i'll call you back later then you start doing something then at the moment you need the person you call the person back that is the same case with javascript you are calling back another function setting it as an argument in another function let's say the person was uh, uh maybe you were building a system and then uh at one point you needed a content writer you see so you are building a website and then at one point you need a content writer first you need to build you need to start designing, you build, then uh, fill it with dummy text. You then call back because you already put a content writer on hold. You call him back when you need it. So <laughs> that, that's just a, a basic example. It's not really standard, but it's just to explain the concept of callbacks. So that's just basically how what callbacks is all about. And in uh, in this video, we are going to do an example just one example that will cover a lot about callbacks so in this example you are going to see just in short almost everything you need to know about callbacks so uh in this example let's talk about it before we go ahead and doing it in the example here we are going to we are going to uh write two functions one function that will display just for displaying any text then the other function is to perform a calculation yes one function to display then the other to perform a calculation uh, to make it easy let's just do basic addition right because i guess that's the like the fundamental uh mathematical operation we that comes to our mind whenever we think of implementing something so we're just going to do basic addition and from there you see how callbacks will be applied so uh let's delete this code here and then here if you see what what i've done here we have just added uh it's just basic text right the html just a heading heading one and then a paragraph so that's just basically what we have done and then this is an external the link to this external javascript as usual i hope we all know about that so we are going to uh move straight to defining our functions first things first we need to define we need to create a function that displays in short that just displays so to create that function let's do uh, this way function let's say it is displaying let's say display answer you can actually make your name shorter eh? like yeah you can make your name shorter message let it display the message and uh, yeah so you alert let's alert the, the answer okay let's maybe put the text the sum the sum is since we want to add two numbers that's why i'm putting it the sum is you add 
answer you know here we are adding two strings right these are two strings the answer is a string as well we are adding it to this so this is it that's our first function then our next function is to uh, is going to implement uh, we are going to call this function back in our second function so let's define uh, let's uh, create our second function this will be function let's say add numbers add numbers what are the arguments let's say number one number one number two then the function one that we want to call back this is a display answer this is it appearing here already so you can just click on it and it automatically fills up display answer then let's create an intermediate variable intermediate variable that will just be temporarily used that is sum equal to number one plus number two then what do we do we display answer on sum we display the answer on sum so we have displayed the answer on sum let's save that and then uh, go to our web page and refresh you see so this is the text that was uh that we added the heading and then the text that we added so we are going to uh let's try to call the functions uh so what function are we calling since we have used this function one into this one we are going to make use of this one add numbers and the add numbers goes to us you go add numbers what's the first argument that's number one let's say let's add a hundred what's the second number we are adding uh let's say 75 then you display answer display answer this is display answer so we have uh, actually displayed the answer here display answer so we click enter oops there's an error somewhere can you figure out what the answer what the error could be yes <clears throat> you don't add a string to a number here in place of this answer we are putting some we are making use of some as in place of the message sorry oops there's an error why didn't you correct me oh anyway it's okay we are supposed to put the message here message not the answer let's save that and uh try to refresh okay let's see if it work this time add numbers so we add the numbers what's the first number we earlier okay this is it we earlier tried attempted to okay 175 plus 75 <sighs> okay so hold your breath let's see if this works boom you see it has added the two numbers and then display the sum is 175 are you seeing this let's give it another try another example let's do add numbers uh let's add uh let's say nine and twelve yeah nine second number twelve then you display answer you display answer boom there you see here the sum is 21 and what is 9 plus 12 21 you see it works right so guys that's just it that's just the concept of callbacks that's just the concept of callbacks uh let's go to our code as you can see the error we're making here we put answer instead of message because the answer wasn't part of the argument we didn't uh include it here so we cannot make use of something we have not included here 
and moreover we didn't declare it as a an intermediate variable like we did here so that was basically the the error also in some cases you'll be unable to add a string and a number because this answer here is a number so in in that case you have to convert if if you are unable to add a string and a number you have to convert that number to a string using uh a method one string method uh a function is str in bracket the number so guys that's just it this is callbacks you can actually play with it the way you want define any kind of function you want you call it back in another function this saves the stress of actually making a, a particular function long or making your code long so with the use of functions your code can be made shorter Thank you so much for watching this video guys and see you in the next lesson.